Hello and welcome to Miner Plays a multiplayer game in Age of Empires 2, so let's go. This one is just a your general run of the mill Black Forest game. And there's me, Jab Miner, playing as the Byzantines. And then there's uh, my friend Matt who's playing as the Spanish. And we're allies and we're playing against two other people. Um Sien Kadupa, yellow, who is Chinese, and then Green, who is Moodle playing the Spanish. So one of the first things I like to do in any Black Forest game is to wall off. And there's these three points here. Uh, I've got this one here, got this one here, which I've just walled off, and then this one here. Now with this one here, I could have walled off a bit further down. You know, got some more space here, but I thought it's no point. I mean, there's a wolf here. There's no, they're unlikely to come through there. If they are, it's not too much of a problem. I can, I can still choke point them because they can only really come around here or here, so a castle here would sort them out. This one, however, I could have built it a bit further down, but there's not really a decent point unless it's close to the enemy, so I didn't want to bother about that, so I thought I'll just wall off close by. So, uh, and let's see what these two are doing. We're talking quite a bit, and um, one thing that Yellow did was come in, you can't quite see the body, but Yellow came in, killed a sheep, and then mapped and um, housed his villagers and they killed the sheep so that uh, killed the scout that came in so that's a bit of a loss for yellow and yellow at the moment is focusing on a lot of wood uh, and got a lot of food going on it's built a market and built a blacksmith i mean the market could have been up here because the distance does go up exponentially the further you go it's not like one gold per square or anything like that. It's 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 like one gold for the first square, one point five for the second square, two gold for the third square, and so on, like that. And I've just said there, no one gets siege on a goods, which is quite nice. So we know the only way that the enemy can get through is by going through the walls. Now, Green has got a scout here just to obviously check that I don't suddenly come through. And because like one thing I could have done actually was sneak round and built a mining camp here and or you know wall it off here or something and um, st st start a little base up here that that would have been quite cool actually anyway yellow has walled off here it seems and it we've already um, Matt and I has already said that we should attack yellow first because you know payback for that one sheep that they got so yeah they built a got well quirky uh, what five boars I wonder if they make use of that, because that is quite good. In one um, Black Forest game I saw, there were nine boars. Nine! Uh, you know, there's over 3,000 food. I would love to have had that. And anyway, here comes uh, another town centre out for Matt. Has he got one, another one out here? Oh, yeah, he's got one out here. Uh, what have I got? I've got one town centre here. got my original town centre. And have I got another one? I have a feeling I don't. But it's not. I mean, I could build it up. I don't know where to build it actually. Oh well. Anyway, Green has started building a bit of a, a fortress here. You know, gates, walls, and uh, what does this village do? We'll see. I'm surprised that wolf hasn't actually tried to attack her when she came in. Oh, fortified walls, and she's building up more walls. But um, oh, whoops! I missed this battle. Essentially, what happened was. It's a very small choke point here. I mean, yeah, it could have gone round, but it would have first been seen by blue. But it's Chuka News and some man at arms went up and tried to get through. However, we we'll go on to Matt uh, getting conscription for faster unit creation. He's got a couple of palace palisade walls here, but. The, that's there. And um, what has Yellow got here? It's got some Chukanus, not upgraded. Man Arms, not upgraded. Hasn't got anything at the barracks from the look. Uh, blacksmith, from the looks of it. Got a couple of monks out, but he's in the Imperial Age, so any time soon he shall create some trebuchets. I mean, the Conquistadors, they've got all the uh, armor upgrades. They can get one. Yeah, oh, you just got it. One more armor upgrade. Got the, enough. Um, oh, here comes the trebuchet. Got the range for there. And here we go, this is destroying the castle. And the Conquistadors will be able to hide behind the trebuchets and take out all the units. And they can't quite get by, they need to... They should have left a bit of a gap, but now the Conquistador can get through and they can get rid of the Duco News. But these castles coming, trebuchets coming closer to get rid of this gate. And that's that riddle. 
and now they can come through. And this is where the main battle is, because over here I don't quite attack just yet. Just a bit of a fortress there for green. So I'll focus on here and I'll go over to me as soon as that starts, but I'll start playing it a bit slower for the more of a battle. Actually, I'll play it a bit slower now. But you've got a few more Chukanus here. You, they haven't made use of these boars. They've got some cavaliers here. And they've got a castle here, slightly upgraded. But these trebuchets need to come through. He needs to create a couple more trebuchets. He's got the resources to do so. He needs to create a couple more resources, uh, trebuchets. And uh, actually, let's play it a bit quicker. But let's get rid of this barracks. I mean, that castle was very poorly placed, in my opinion, because uh, I could attack it from the safety of my own base. If the castle was back here, like this one, that's much better. I mean, yes, actually, this trebuchet could attack it, so it would be better for the castle to be a bit further away, like here, I suppose. And here we go, here's a battle. Lots of cavaliers, lots of conquistadors. Perfect attack. Spearmen, pikemen, halberdiers. And here come some more cavaliers, but still not upgraded at all. A bombard tower being created. And Jenna has come over here with quite a few villagers to get some gold and some wood, which is very sneaky of him. I mean, he's got. He didn't even start on this gold, he only just started now. And now we got nearly fully upgraded paladins. I know the Spanish can get every single blacksmith upgrade, so you've just got one more to get. And I, ah, I'm attacking this already, so here we go. I'll focus on me a bit more, because all Matt does at the moment is just go in and destroy these buildings. So I've destroyed these walls. But if you look here, what, four bombard towers and two castles? But this is where... This is where green slightly fails a bit. I mean, I fail a bit by letting my cataphats go in, which are fully upgraded, I believe. I don't think I can get blast furnace. But here's my trebuchets, and let's see how many have I got. Four trebuchets, and they're not doing anything to counter-attack it. I can just attack the trebuchets in the comfort of their 16 range. I mean, it's got, green's got some pikemen here. It looks like he's only just started creating an army. But he's got the upgrades. Uh, putting yellow in this place, yep. Uh, he's got halberdiers, so he's, he understands that he needs to... That he understands that I've got catapats and you know, halberdiers will be good against him. I can only get pikemen. So that's one castle gone, that's the second castle gone. One more Mombot Tower to go. And... I mean, he needs to come in and attack me. And that Bombard Cannon went because it was so close to that Bombard Tower. So anyway, here we go, here I'm attacking. And if I just quickly go over here, he's blue has worked his way in and he's going to attack these people here. Yellow hasn't got much more left, but soon, shortly here, I just get rid of more and more of their trebuchet, um, buildings using my trebuchets. And I think I could have done with a couple more trebuchets just to help out, but I think it's roughly at this point, green and yellow, they kind of give up a bit because they just seen the army and there's no way they can get back from him. If we have a look at their resources, they're not doing great, especially on the gold fund, they're not doing too great, whereas I've got nearly 9,000 gold and Matt's actually only got 300 gold. I guess I must have not spent as much as him. He did buy a lot of paladins and conquistadors, whereas I focused slightly more on the economy side. And here we go, got catapults. Useful, useful things, especially when you get Logistica and they can you know, attack one villager, but the villager behind will also lose damage, but will also lose health. But anyway, just getting my trebuchets in to get rid of these uh, castles, and the enemy is starting to resign. And there's not much more green can do, nothing over here, just one villager. And there we go, that's yellow resigning, and I suspect green will resign any time soon. Uh, pinch the manoeuvre, yep. Exactly what we did, we both attacked very near the same time. Oh, there we go, green's resigned. We attacked very nearly at the same time, which allowed the enemy to slightly panic. And they didn't, as far as I saw, they didn't really have much of a trade route going on. If they had more trade, they would have had more gold, which would have been great. But they would have slightly had, unless the market was here. Oh no, it's there anyway, so okay, that's fine. So the trade carts would come over here for maximum efficiency. So if we have a look at the scores blue one and I didn't get any of the stars in that one but I got the most food and nearly got the most wood didn't quite get the most gold and uh, trade profit so I didn't actually get the most gold at all and even with trade profit uh, I was the first to the imperial age which I was very 
happy about. And yeah, so I didn't even I wasn't even one of the best players, but you no, know, everyone did very well, it's just a few points I need to remember. And so yeah, thank you very much for watching.